Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. Those are leftovers from yesterday's wrecked blooms. There's a bunch of pillow paint in there and there's a bunch of the new colors. Uh, the primary elements, the fairy tales from color art. So I'm going to use that up on top of a pillow, I believe. So I'm going to use my Sherwin-Williams paint, white satin, around the edge, like I have been. And I've been sort of playing with this new technique of laying down pillow paint. And so far, maybe it's good, just good luck. It's been working. So I don't want a whole lot more than that because I have so much in my dish. But as I tip from side to side, the spaces in between seem to dissipate. And I don't know how it's going to work with using the leftovers. And I'm probably, I don't think I'm going to do scoop and drag, but that could happen after I do a bloom if it doesn't work out. I'm, I'm kind of having a good time doing the wrecked blooms. So we're going to try and play with that. I might just go ahead and take my spatula. I can fill in those gaps. Right now, I'm going to move some paint out to the edge. I'm going to kind of wish it was a little closer to begin with. But it's not that hard to do with the OXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula. Best paint spreading tool I know of, so we'll just move some more paint out there. And maybe in here. Not to leave anything undone. So basically my center pillow right under the top, which I could have used my leftovers under there, but I decided to do it this way. And this, these OXO omelette turning spatulas are the bomb. They definitely shorten the amount of time it takes to do things. So, whether I want to do part of this, maybe I'll just grab a shovel. Because I can sort of thing. I like the stripes. I could probably just do something with just the leftover paint. But I'm not unhappy with the idea of using whatever I spin out as a background and using up my paint. Which it's definitely time to do. Put this container into the bucket right now. Kind of thinking it does not matter what I put down because I'm going to be blowing out a bloom on top of it anyway. And I like the idea of using some gold. So that's probably coming next. And I'm going to grab a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. I think there's no point in not doing that. It might be weird to wreck a bloom alongside stripey leftovers, but I guess we'll find out together. These two things are also going in the bucket. So let me grab the colors I picked. The colors I picked are new colors. I want to grab some of the Mayan gold anyway. Now maybe I can tip for a second and make sure things are evening up from side to side. I might like this before I do anything. I actually do like this before I do anything. I buy my shovels with a bucket at the dollar store when summer comes around. Although it is Florida so they probably have them year round and I wouldn't know that. That's a big bubble. 
I like that spot so I'm not going to do anything there. I think I'm going to do it right here. That's like I said the mine gold, that's the prism pour. I am going to use some of the fairy tales primary element alexandrite and then some of the same London blue and I didn't use the London blue did I? No I used what did I use? Poseidon blue this is the London blue Then I'm going to use, I'm going to use a bunch, um, Burmese Red, which reminds me of Burmese Rubies and is gorgeous. And this is Magic Slippers. I love the name. And finish up with Amethyst Queen. I am going to indulge myself in the black and the white Aussie Flow Troll and Amsterdam Black and Amsterdam White. I'm trying not to blow down to white paint. I don't see any cells coming up in the center, so I'm going to do what other people have shown me to do. And in lieu of breaking the surface tension and creating cells, I may just add some more cell activator. Or in this case, blow it out again. Wow, that's a head rush. I am going to put some more black select elevator in there. And hope that that breaks out. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, I think I'm just going to continue on my merry way. And I don't see any gold at all. So I might do a couple more flowers actually at this rate. This is the Burmese red. I'm going to use the Amethyst Queen again. Maybe I used too much paint over there. Anyway, I haven't done any wrecking yet, so I wonder what would happen if I put a little gold on top. I'm going to go back to just the black because that's worked for me very well in the past. All, all two paintings of it. All right, that didn't work too badly, and I'm thinking I'm going to use a lot more of that um, magic slippers, and I like the gold. The gold on top worked really well, so I'm going to go for, I'm just going to go down here. And that was the Alexandrite again. I'm going to slip in a little something different. I'm going to slip in a little bit of sparkling aqua, which is a prison pour. And a tad of the Amethyst Queen. Burmese Ruby again.
magic slippers and the gold. Part of me thinks that I should just go ahead and um, put some green around the edge so I have greenery. I'm not done with any of these yet. Because my intention is to wreck them. I need to get better at this. <laughs> Something tells me. Alright, so I've got a paintball on the end of my skewer. Hopefully without no, uh, cat hair attached. <laughs> I'll just get rid of that. I'm really surprised I didn't get more of that pink slipper. Pink, what is it? Magic slippers. I kind of want more. And I might do that. Depends on how much time I have left, I guess. I've got three minutes. I'm going to do, the other day I used just jasmine. So I'm going to go ahead and use just magic slippers and some gold. And I don't usually operate in even numbers, but I don't, wow, there's a little plug in that. single color blooms or in this case two color blooms where did I there it is I hit it on myself I'm kind of missing the orange It's hard to know when enough wrecking is enough wrecking. But since I did scoop and drags and I'm used to knowing what large vacant areas look turn into when you spin, I'm kind of watching out for that. Like I'll put a spiral into some place that looks like it's big. So here goes nothing. Let's get rid of the bottles. As best I can, as quickly as I can, and grab my barrier. Get it the right side up. And ready? Let's go. Hopefully there's enough paint. I don't think I'm going to have any negative space left. Something tells me I filled it up. It's filled it up with leftovers, basically. bubble or something there. So that's pretty cool, but I definitely missed that orange. And when the timer goes off, we'll have another three minutes. So I think that's Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And a little Mayan Gold again. Just because I love experimenting, and I see a couple of marks I want to get rid of, let's do the magic slippers again. Looks like I got a dot of cell activator right there. And if I've never showed you my trick with a skewer, let's see if it'll work now. Just roll it 
roll it up it ought to be enough I want another one over here somewhere or even just a little bit maybe just the quinacridone nicolazo gold all right I've got three minutes left That's weird that I can't seem to blow a center. But what I can do is a little wrecking. I don't really want to wreck that one very badly because I like it. And this one doesn't really need any wrecking at all. But I'm going to do it anyway. This one is beautiful as it is. Oh, and I found something that needed to get out. Not sure about the spiral in the center, but it's there now, so I'll just live with it. Here we go again. I do spin faster than a lot of people do and I like it that way. So at least I got rid of a big pan of leftovers. I guess that's a good thing. I don't think they amounted to anything. I think I would have been just as well off if I had not used them. And that's pretty. I like it. If I want to do anything to anything like loose ends, I can tie them up. That's that little spot I dropped. But that's pretty cool. Okay, I think that's, you know what? Better safe than sorry. I know there's a lot of paint on there. I'm going to move it back a little bit. And I really think at this point, if you needed another flower, you could put it in there and keep spinning. But I like it. It looks like it would make a great shirt on Spring or the Gallerist, both of which are on my link tree, along with my websites and my Amazon link. I like the gray and the white. I like using leftover paint a lot. You can't get those colors any other way than by scraping them up. Well, maybe you could, but I haven't tried. So I've got one minute left to ask you guys to give me a thumbs up, share my videos, watch some longer, and uh, know that your comments are morale boosting for me, so I really appreciate them along with the donations through PayPal. Bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner has a donation button. and memberships are will allow anybody who wants to buy a 9.99 a month to help support the production of videos that you on my channel access to over 110 videos i'm going to give you a quick shimmer hopefully that looks pretty good from up here it looks pretty sweet from down there too so one of these times shortly i'm going to do one of these and include scoop and drags but i'm not sure maybe i'll just know when the time is right I think that way is the best way out for you guys. And I'm loving the colors. And I love you guys. I hope you come again. Shop my Amazon link for my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. No, I love you. Hope you come again. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm trying to shimmer that at you and talk, and I'm 